Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 5 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we had a question on one of our Bootstrap videos. Somebody was asking how to customize the hamburger menu. I've got Google Chrome here. I'm going to hit the F12 for the inspector tools. And if I get this into, and if I switch my little responsive toggle on. Okay, so there's our little hamburger menu there. If I right click and inspect it we can see it's actually an image rather than an icon or anything like that that used to be in previous versions. So to change the background color it's pretty straightforward. It's nav bar toggle icon. We can just add background say blue and as you can see that's added a blue background to it. You can hit that little icon and change the color of your blue to whatever color you want there but if you want to change the actual color of the actual bars there themselves it's a different story and of course we're doing this in Chrome here so let's copy this or we'll copy all of this from the dot of the navbar toggle name to the closing curly bracket there control C let's get up our index.html which is the page we're looking at here but anybody doesn't understand what's going on index is the actual page we're looking at in the Chrome browser there and this is the code that we've got up in our text editor here I'm gonna add we've got on-page styles going on here I'm gonna add it to afterwards if you've got a cascading style sheet attached to yours you can do it inside of that I'm gonna paste that all in there I'm gonna get rid of everything apart from the background that we put in there just now now let's just tidy that up. Save, Control S. Now when I refresh that should stay that color. There we go, it stayed exactly there. There's our background color. Now if we wanted to change the color of those bars to light color, it's a little more complex than it was before. We've actually got to use a filter on there and flip it or invert the colors so they're light instead of dark, which is going to affect that background color. So if I go in there and write filter, let's invert. And I'm going to invert by 100%. Make sure we spell everything right. As you can see, those lines have now gone white, but our blue color has gone to an orange. So to offset that, if we still want it to be our blue color, we can go into our little blue color, just click on it there find the orange because that's going to invert back to blue get it to around about the color that you want something that works for you yeah that's going to work nicely for me you can even darken it down a little bit so it's more like the logo there we'll copy that hex color now and that's the color we want to change to control c in our brackets here so i'm going to Again, I'm going to copy both of these values here. Go back to our text editor. I'm going to paste both of them in there like that. Control S to save. Let's refresh. There we go. We've got our blue little hamburger menu there. And that's made that permanent. Of course, if you wanted to make it into a circle, we could give it a border radius by just adding. Border radius, Let's give it 50%. Obviously, that's going to make it round like that. If you give it a smaller value, like 10 picks or something, just gives it slightly rounded corners. So I kind of like the round one. Let's let's go for that 50%. And again, we've got to make this permanent by writing it into our style. Control C. And drop down. Control S to save. Now we can refresh. Let's get out of here. There's our regular. If I hit the F12 again. Now there's a little grey line around there. And if we click on it, it becomes pretty bold. 
if you wanted to change the color of that or just get rid of it that's actually in our nav bar toggler right here just above so if we look at that we've got nav bar light nav bar toggler let's change that color say the border color to transparent and it's disappeared there for us which is great what about when we click on it that one's still there so up the so the color will change the color to transparent also. Now when we click on it, there's no border either, which is great. And again, to keep this, we want to copy all of this code, including the curly bracket all the way to the dot of navbar light, navbar toggler. Going to copy this, put it into our little style sheet. may find this is not going to work let's just grab this and tidy it up we may have to add important to this to force it to override the styles there let's try Control s to save let's go back and refresh no nope, that's worked fine we've got no border there at all now so there you go guys there's how to st style your hamburger icon with bootstrap 5 little more to it than previous versions but that works nicely I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day